the girls breakfast done our oldest as you guys can see she's really picky she doesn't even like the yellow on the egg but she preferred a bagel this morning and then our youngest wanted a hash brown and some eggs so they're gonna eat their breakfast and then mommy's gonna have some time to get ready hello hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Erica I am a young wife I've been married almost seven years we have two beautiful children so if you are new and you stumbled upon my channel definitely make it worth your while and stay a while um, and if you're returning hello my love so for today's video I want to go thrifting I want to find some vintage pieces that I really was kind of adding to my notes so I have a couple of things that I'm gonna be needing today. Oh, neighbor's grass is getting cut. So I just had my breakfast. The girls are having their breakfast and I still have to get them ready. And then my husband is, it's currently 10 o'clock. My husband should be here in about 30 minutes. So I told him let's go thrifting cause I kind of have been in a mood to thrift. I wanna find some really nice vintage pieces. That tastes really good. Mm. Okay, so what I have on my notes to get today are a vintage jacket, um, like a leather vintage like puffed type of jacket. If I can't find the leather, then I'll probably try to find another vintage type of sweater. And then I wanted to find like some neutral or some white t-shirts or button ups. And then I want to find overalls. I want to find multiple because I've just been loving the whole overalls vibe. But if I can't, that's fine. I'll just probably go on, um, I'll just probably order them off of line if I can't find them at the thrift store. Come along with me today. It's gonna be a fun day. And then I think tomorrow, so tomorrow is actually gonna be a fun day too because we are gonna be going out with some friends. All right, so let me pick you guys up to show you guys what I'm wearing for today. So I'm just going to toss on this puffer jacket because I want to see if it's going to kind of make it look a little better. Okay, so this is with the puffer jacket on. I think what's kind of different for me is just this side button of the pants. I'm not used to that. I wanted to show you my living room right now looks crazy because because I have been painting our entertainment center. If you guys remember, maybe in previous vlogs, you've caught it, but it was like a really dark olive type of light green, brown, nude mixture. I don't know, it was a weird color. Excuse this over here. We have a mess going on right now. Basically, this was the natural color of it, and then this is what it's looking like now. I, I wanted to go for more of the white. I'll show you guys the finished look once everything is put together. we made it to goodwill found this like parachute looking um overall type i don't know i'm gonna try it on and see how it looks so i've been looking for some jeans that are this color and i think these are nice but it doesn't look like it'll fit me in the waist but that's how they look kind of like mom jean and then this is the other pair so i'm gonna try these two on and i love that they're not skinny jeans they're just more of like Kind of like these ones that I have that are just very open and not too tight at the bottom. Okay, so this is the first outfit. These jeans are definitely big on me. I'll probably have to do the Amazon button thing that I do just to kind of make it fit. But look at how it fits at the bottom. Just perfect. And I thought this top was perfect for like vintage-y look. I just got to figure this whole thing out right here. Outfit number one is these are the second pair I don't know about these I feel like they fit kind of too tight for my liking but yeah there's that definitely a no look at this purse this is a nice little leather bag and it's a throw-on which I've actually been kind of looking for this one is only eight dollars you guys look at this vintage guest handbag so they have these cute little like slided sandals. I thought these were so cute. Let me show you guys at a different angle. This is what they look like. This is cute. Yeah, I think these are cute. I think I'm gonna get these. 
there's this little plant here it looks like kind of looks like bamboo but it's only $12 look how pretty it is and I think this goes good in the guest bedroom because we have the black uh, bed frame so this goes good in the guest bedroom and look at how pretty though and there's another one over here this one's like $14 I don't know we're about to head out of here because um, we're gonna go to a different spot all right so we are going to go to stop number two wanted to still try to find some of the mom jeans because the ones that i tried on both of them had stains one of them seemed like a period stain other one had like a stain towards the bottom of the pants basically i didn't find any mom jeans i got like some really nice slip-ons i got the the handbags like the purses which are leather and leather i feel like goes with everything so that was a plus i did not find the leather vintage kind of like puffer jacket that i was looking for so and i did not find overalls so that's the only thing it was kind of unsuccessful because those were the two things i was trying to look for yeah we're gonna go to stop number two and then we're gonna see how that one goes and then my husband's also trying to find a button-up shirt <laughs> gonna go over to the men's section to see what we can find which is behind these shoes so these are really nice these are some nice khakis and the bottoms are the way I like it these are cute to try on at least this is where I need to be looking this is the guy section of the jeans and this is where I think I'm gonna find what I need these are super nice I hope they fit all right so i thought this would be really really nice for a lot of my outfits because it's brown and so neutral and i think it goes really nicely and it doesn't feel too big or too heavy so i think this is a win mirror's kind of dirty but i think this is a good one these ones are so nice but there's a stain right here but i'm thinking about just making a rip these ones are Levi jeans. So I'm about to put the plant in our fourth bedroom in the house and it's gonna look so good. Let's see. Ooh. I am gassed out right now. I'm just gonna put it here. Yeah, this is a perfect spot. It's so pretty. It's really, really nice. Um, I have to take the price tag off of it, but it looks good for now. Um, gonna be, um, probably needs batteries. I'll check it out, baby. Um, we're going to be going to watch the sunset later. Um, but for now, we're just going to hang out. We're going to eat some food, hydrate up because I forgot to bring my water. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. As you can see, just missing some shelving. The shelves, we have three of them that we have to put up. But this is what it's looking like. It looks so much better white. I'm so happy I did it. I just have to move this um, rug back more. But I love the space right now. Before we go to the beach, I'm going to run to the gym to get a workout in. Because this is the last month of the year. No time for excuses. Definitely want to continue to be consistent and see more muscle growth. So that takes getting to the gym. So I decided to change into my long sleeve. It just looks a lot better with this instead of a sports bra. I've been wearing sports bras a lot to the gym. So I just wanted to kind of switch it up. Just gonna wear them with my black Nikes. I'm feeling a little bloated because I think something that I ate just kind of inflamed me, but it's fine. And I'm sure a lot of people probably wonder like, hmm, why does she go to Goodwill? Honestly, I love going into like thrift stores and just finding vintage things, like things that you can tell are old and you get it for very, very cheap. That's why I like thrifting. If you clicked on this video, probably for just the thrifting part, I'm sure you can agree with me. Um, but I haven't thrifted in a month, like almost eight to nine months because I've been buying at stores. But I just like was like, you know what? It's time for a little thrift day because it's been a minute. 
So anyway, um, what am I missing? I have to get my socks on. Okay, I'm gonna get out the door. I'm gonna get to the gym and then I'll chat to you guys a bit later. So I just got back from the gym and my hair is super duper wet. Um, I don't know, I've been wanting to try dry shampoo. I don't really know if that's for my type of hair, so I don't know, but I got some things that came from Amazon. So I have my pre-workout that I take that I ran out. And y'all remember I told you guys in the last couple of videos that I've been wanting to try fenugreek seeds because I already take the pills, but I've been wanting to try the seeds to put it in my homemade oil that I make for my scalp and my hair. So these are the seeds that came. Let me open it. Let's see what we got. Okay. Not that big at all. Like, at all. But I guess it's fine. I don't think I'm supposed to need that much anyway. I don't know. And then I got this, like, spray thing for um, our olive oil. Let me open it. And it's glass. Okay. So... Yes, I have been really, really wanting one of these so badly, you guys, and I finally ordered it. Like, I'm the type of person, like, if I need something from Amazon, I know a lot of people, they will buy the stuff right away, but I will not. I will sit there and be like, hmm, do I really need it? Do I really need it? After a week of me asking myself if I still need it, then I'll basically buy it. I'm just, I have to calm myself down with Amazon because honestly, Amazon can become like a whole nother bill because it's so easy to add to that cart. But I have some more of my pre-workout finally because I really was running out. And this pre-workout is like $30, but it's so worth it because it just, I'm really weird with my insulin. Anything affects my insulin. It really helps me with maintaining my insulin levels low. It doesn't have any added sugar. Sweetened with stevia leaf extract. So it's better than all of the other pre-workouts that might have some added sugar. Going to whew, eat something and then basically didn't go watch the sunset tonight because my watch fell yesterday and it didn't crack but the screen lifted up from the watch. So we dropped that off before we actually went to the thrift store today. We thought it would be ready in like an hour or two. Nope. It's already currently 5.10 and the guy just now told my husband like, hey, it's ready to be picked up at 5.30. We got the projector going on over here and this is where I put the plant. But yeah, they just wanted to have a little projector night. just got some salad and then these are some tenders that I did in almond flour and I put them in the air fryer and then this is just some ketchup and mayo mixed together which is my favorite sauce I just use sugar-free ketchup but that's dinner I'm gonna eat this and I'll catch you guys tomorrow okay you got the smile going what about you oh mama you gotta be gentle or it's gonna be too much <laughs> One needle, one left over there. <laughs> I don't think I've tried to rush and do my makeup this fast and this long. I think I have been sitting here for about five minutes, so I think I'm doing really good as far as getting my makeup done. I just I need to organize my makeup so I'll probably do that in like another reset video or something just honestly organizing my makeup now it's time to do my lips and I think you guys know how I do my lips because I did it in the last get ready with me
And the pencil I'm using this time is the Wet n Wild. I've shown this color to you guys before. It's absolutely amazing and Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to really do much to my hair, so I'm just going to moisturize it and leave it down. I've had it in a braid because I've been, you guys know, when I go to the gym, I typically wear it in a bun or in a braid. And honestly, it's just been, it's just been wild because I really did not plan like anything for this date night out, like as far as my hair, like how I wanted it to look. So I'm just going to leave it moisturized and let it do its natural thing. It's it's looking kind of funny right now, but it's just gonna have to do. Um, so basically I use the Olive Oil Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. It has a little bit of a glare because in our guest bedroom, we have a, uh, it's just, it picks up really good light in here, which is why I like to film in here most of the time. But yeah, so that's the leave-in conditioner and then I'm just adding some oil because my hair is going to be rough, like I'm gonna wear it down and it's gonna be rubbing all on my clothes. And I just like to use oils cause I feel like it really does help my hair and even more so when I'm gonna wear it down just so it can kind of protect my strands even better. Whew. I feel gassed right now, I really do, I need some water. Oil is applied and now I'm gonna do my edges. This whole sideburn thing, y'all, I just got put onto that because I never used to do it, but now I think it looks so cute, but I don't I don't even feel like I do it right. But even though I don't do it right, I think it still looks cute. I'm really torn between two. This is a one piece set, and as you guys can see, it doesn't have any like it's basically like this. I don't know what you guys would call it. And then I have the cream color version to that, which is this one. I am gonna wear it with this little throw on on top and I think that's gonna look so cute and then I have my handheld bag my guest handheld bag which I hope my camera fits in here but I really don't think it's going to I don't know how to stay oh, okay. I am rocking it with no bra because um, that jacket covers it really well but I'm probably gonna put some pads those ones that just kind of sit yeah, I don't really think the whole front part matters because once you throw this on, it covers the majority of what's going on in the front. Um, but yeah, this is what, what I'm planning on wearing today. And then I have the gold earrings. Wait a second, I had to spray some perfume, something. So let me rush downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys the whole outfit put together, like with the shoes and everything. Let's go. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I'm not. Okay. Is anybody is anybody up here? Make sure all the lights are off. Because we literally are always leaving lights on. Oh, I wanted to take my tablet because I have a lot of editing to do. Secured the goods, headed down, and I'll be back to show you guys the full outfit so you guys can check out the shoes. So these are the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing with this. Should I do some heels instead? I think maybe some heels. I don't know, because these kind of look weird with this. <laughs> I think they look really nice with it, actually. It just had to kind of grow on me a little bit. made it but we have to walk to the restaurant it's called olive branch but look how pretty these lights are back here this is like what the strip looks like but we have to walk the opposite way My guy looks like someone put their thumb in her ear. <laughs> and the girl's got ice cream. 